everyone. Today I am going to read you the first chapter of this book. This book is called Robots. Chapter 1 The Terrible Tidy Bot. Look, you are the laziest boy in the world, cries. cries Cry's mom, his room was so untidy, she could hardly get in. Look at all this mess, sighed Lux's mother, as she clambered our, over a pile of books, cloths, and toys. Uh, all you do all day is play on the BP Ping computer, sim, sim. His mom crossly. Luck, luck was not listening. He had just reached his low twelve. Twelve. Now he needed to go back down to level one. I have just enough, enough, young man. You have one week to clean up this room, or. All your computer's gone, sweated Miss his mom. I mean it. Love heard that loudly and clear. Could not he could not possibly live without his computer. But cleaning his room will take forever. What I need is someone to clean up for me. He spent the next two hours searching for enter for cleaning parents. They were too expensive. Luck had almost given up hope when the advertisement popped up the screen. That that's what just I need, cried Luck. It can clean my room. Then I will send it back. Another week later, the tiny bot arrived at Lux's house. He managed to sneak the box out up to his room before his mother dashed past her way out. I run that room clean, but by the time I come back, she shouted, the front door slam began her. Lux had just two hours. First, he read the instruction booklet. Then, unmind, then he unmind the remote control. The tidy bot was ready for action. Lock press the red button twice and the robot jigs to live. In minutes, all Lock's pants, shirts, and clothes went floor and neatly put away. Lock was impressed. He pressed button after button. The, the robot whizzed around and the room obeying every a man. Allow me to put your books on the shelf, sir. Allow me to vacuum your carpet, sir. Allow me to, to put away your toys, sir. In no time at all, the bedroom was cleaner than it had ever been. Luck could not wait to see his mother's place when she returned. He took a step back to admire the tiny box work. As he did, he heard a loud crack. The woman control has bent and broken. But Luck had more important things to worry about. Breaking the control until had the tiny ball go crazy. He huggled around the room until it made messer than ever. Before Luck could stop it wrapping, Bob drew me his bedroom and down the stairs. 
It runs through every room and is the house living a messy trial. Then, finally, the robot's battery went flat and and it to a halt. Lock thought at house is Howard. What would this his mother say? He spent the next hour sweeping, mopping, and splashing. Then he repacked the robot and hid in the shed. When he did finish, he was so tired that he went to his bedroom and lied down. He was in a shock. As he slept onto his bed, disappear. His mother returned. Look at this room, she cried, but Luck was so exhausted, he did not hear. Mrs. Libby shook her head as she carried off Luck's computer. You are the, you, you really are the laziest boy in the world, she said. I hope you like this book. The end.